Hunter season has the highest number of lost bees reported since 2006, and the number continues to decline. Data showing that the national bee population is falling more and more each year. News 13's Taylor Rambo takes a look at the bee decline in Gulf County, home of Tupelo Honey. Ben Laner is a fourth generation beekeeper in Gulf County. But I started out working bees, you know, I can remember finding queens when I was six years old and I'm 61. But he and many other beekeepers are concerned about the decline in their population. It's so much harder to keep a hive alive than it was, you know, when I was 15, even 30. One of the biggest problems, the Varroa mite, the number one killer of bees across the panhandle. The biggest thing that's killing them is the Varroa mite and he's the size of the head of a straight pin. They're really giant parasites. And they also have a microscopic one that gets in the trachea. They become resistant to the chemicals that beekeepers use to kill them. We need something bad. We need somebody to find us something that will really, you know, kill the mite and not hurt the bee. And another problem, <laughs> larvicide, an insecticide that kills many other insects, including honeybees. It took me a while to figure it out, but if the bees are watering in that ditch and they put the larvicide in that ditch, it kills the larvae and everything. It'll kill the hive also. Hurricane Michael also having an impact, killing many hives in its path. Trees fell on them and smushed them, smushed the beehives flat, and the, the wind you know, blew them out through the woods. Laner lost several hundred bees in the storm and produced very little honey this season. He is concerned for the life of the honeybees if a solution is not found soon. And I'm afraid the continental United States is liable to be without honeybees. Taylor Rambo, News 13, Panhandle Strong.